Hello guys, welcome back to Mornings with Granny. I hope everyone's doing okay. I'm feeling pretty good. I just got back from the chiropractor, so he popped some joints and feels a lot better. I tell you what, between the chiropractor and massage therapy, that's what helps me keep walking. All right guys, we got some mail. This is from Selena, and Selena is in New Hampshire. And let's see, let me get turned around right. Isn't that pretty card? Always good hearing from you guys. And this is from Sue and Steve. And yes, if I'm ever in your area, I will stop by and see you. And then we also have one from Beth. Let's see what we got in here. <coughs> she sent... A magnetic list pad these are good to keep on your refrigerator and she also sent this card and Beth is in Canada thank you all right guys I know I got light reflecting off of my glasses maybe I can take them off for right now all right we were talking about going camping and we're going to go after the 7th, but we decided to wait because it's just too hot. So we decided to wait to maybe about September, but I'm still getting camping stuff ready. So I know you guys like to see what I have. So I thought, well, I'd show you what I have in my shower bag that I take with me camping. This is just a bag that I got from a uh, thrift store for 99 cents. And what I keep in it is some slip-on shoes for the shower. Mom gave me those. She had, I might have to put my glasses back on, sorry. She had got them at the thrift store. And she didn't like them, but I do. I like the slip-on ones. Let me tell you what happened last time when I went camping. I had bought some flip-flops. I don't particularly care for flip-flops because of the thing that's in between your toes that hurts but I thought they'd be okay for shower you know they weren't but a dollar I'll get them well I needed a size nine I got in that shower to put my flip-flops on that day and my foot wouldn't fit and I thought why is my foot not fitting I had got a six not a nine a six so I had to make do with those things till I got out of there <laughs> it was comical all right, of course, underwear. You have clean underwear in here. And one of you viewers sent these. These are soap on the go from the Upper Canada Soap Company. So I got these in here too. I also have a bar of soap um, right here. I just have a little sample bar. And of course, I have brush, mirror. And then I have this little bag with lotion. One of you guys sent this too. Um, lotion, my toothbrush, toothpaste, a uh, little sample size deodorant, that kind of stuff in there. And then I have a comb, in case I need it. I have a cover-up. When you're getting dressed in those bathhouses, they're hot and sticky and the floor is wet and you're trying to pull on your clothes so someone on youtube said something about getting a cover-up to wear from the bathhouse back to your campsite and give you time to cool off so i found this one at roses it was 10.99 and i got it and it comes down below my knees so that goes into my shower bag so I'll put that in there. And I also have my towels. Now, I ordered my towels off of Amazon. They were $11, and this is the name of them. Olympia Fit. And there's three in here. Fits in this little bag. I'll put my hand up here, see? Not very big. Let's open it up. 
I've washed them and then rolled them back up and put them in here. Now they got different colors, but I got the purple. So, and this is the largest towel. It's, um, I want to say 48 inches by 24, I believe was the size on this. I don't think it's got it written on here, but I think that was the size. And they dry um, quicker than the thick towels. And it's got a hook here. You can, you know, hang it up. And then it also comes with a hand towel. And washcloth. And so like I said, for $11, and then when they dry, you can just roll them back up and put them in your little bag. So, like I said, I've already washed them, and they did dry fairly quick. And now I just got to roll them back up and put them back in there. I took Gizmo to, well, that's all in the shower bag before I get started on Gizmo. Took him back to the vet yesterday and she said that his ears looked fine just keep him on his allergy medicine and um, he had gained a half a pound so he weighs 12 and a half pounds now so I was excited about that if we can just keep his ears clear the test did come back I don't know if I told you guys but they couldn't find anything that was causing it so but anyway, that's what we did yesterday. And the day before that, I took my aunt shopping and we went and seen a cousin I hadn't seen in 24 years. It was nice catching up. And let's see, yesterday I took mom to the grocery store. She's doing fine, thank you for asking. And it's just been busy, busy, busy. I have been pushing so much that honestly, <laughs> I told my chiropractor today, I said, I've been pushing so much that my fibro was acting up. And I slept till 1 o'clock today. I was just beat. I started another dog sitting job Saturday. It's the little uh, shorty that I showed you. So I'm going to be keeping her. And uh, I think that's it as far as, well, no, I do have a dog sitting job. The end of... July. Then that should be it till October, I think. So, so see these just roll back up and put them back in here. Um, so it's been busy, busy, busy. And I was looking forward to going camping, but kind of glad in this heat we're not going because some days are reaching 95 degrees and then you got the heat index on top of it. My friend in Texas, she said their heat index the other day was 120. I, mm, that's outrageous. I know the humidity there is different, but still 120, wow. She said her air conditioner was just working overtime. All right, I think that's about it. I wanted to show you that. And um, I did get a couple of items for my camper van. And so maybe on the next video, we'll look at those. All right, guys, don't forget to give this a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you.